first look at the notes okay slp this is for seeking how to manage their suppliers the main functionalities of slp is to seek uh, how to manage the supplier including supply life cycle process buyers use supplier process to add a new supplier collect and maintain supplier profile information whatever the information you are collecting from the supplier is all integrated in single channel that's why we have a supplier 360 degree profile and uh, which suppliers are qualified and preferred in specific domain and so the functionality allows you to decide qualification based on uh, template criteria and also preferring the supplier over other suppliers okay how you would manage uh, suppliers is through supplier management on the dashboard that is way where you are uh, working on uh, the suppliers you can also search for the supplier and see 360 degree of a supplier and that means all the information related to supplier will be available in single place then under my activities you will see different different tabs based on their uh, status it starts from uh, invitation say registration qualification and uh, preferred supplier like this each when one supplier request also you will see a node if it is still under approval you will also see so all these notes will be very user friendly sorry sir, we can't see the screen i mean we can only see the honda screen oh sorry don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos okay so i think you will able to see it yeah now we can see that yep yeah. so yeah. under my activities you will able to see all those details coming to the supplier request last time which we have seen the main classification is two type of uh, request when we are sending the questionnaires are either internal and external what do you mean by internal and what it mean by external external is nothing but sorry the supplier request itself internal and external suppose as a buyer if we are sending the registration that's called internal registration if supplier himself wants to register with us using a self registration we call or an url which will submit uh, which will be given to us by ariba that can be sent to the supplier doing the self registration the process is same just filling the data and after that the approval will happen at buyer side only for that you need a supplier request manager or sm ops administrator these two are the roles required to create a supplier and to perform actions on that once the request is submitted and it is approved then a supplier is created in our system that is called private supplier it is not public private supplier that means there is no integration happen between ariba network account once we invite the supplier or the registration link the supplier access and login into his ariba network account then it becomes public so public supplier means he is able to have ariba linked account and he can able to participate to respond our questionnaire and also further any of the questions we are asking all he can do once he uh, do a network so the public supplier why we are calling is he has an ariba network id that is mapped with our ariba buyer system that way the two inter like supplier and buyer network will connect each other using ariba network id then requester also uh, yeah just support... one one question shri yeah um, so public and private so uh, understood that public is something when you know like the supplier completes the registration process and then the ariba network id gets generated at that time it is public a uh, private means uh, that at what condition that um, just whatever at the, the stage before a supplier registered is called private for example you created a supplier in your network so that means you have uh, sent a supplier request he has not done uh, that means he has not logged in or he is not activated there is a miscommunication between uh, error in the email id or something the supplier has not received and so far he has not even done accepting our link also in that case until such time we call them as a private suppliers okay okay also you bring the supplier from your erp system integration or even we remember we are doing a sourcing event also we are communicating with the supplier till we are communicating he is still private until an ariba network id is integrated between his system and our system then he becomes a public that means he is available to respond to all our questionnaires it is this is just a state we are we, are, we want to distribute if the supplier is not registered the registered has a different meaning that is the reason it says private okay okay is there okay. any time for that link uh, shri so probably if we are, when we are sending them an email it okay. triggers an email yeah. that that link can stay for active for a day or two Actually, days that or... can be configurable by default uh, ariba says 365 days that is available for the 
request uh, supplier to respond it to the questionnaire and the request uh, link form will be available for 30 days if he is not taking action then you need to do a re-invite that is only the thing okay, okay. then okay. adding requester so what is requested is it is possible that your company you have a supplier manager who is uh, handling this on behalf of someone else so in that case if you want the requester for example now uh, let's take uh, x is a employee he creates the supplier requirement he communicates with the vendor or the supplier so the supplier may not know who is this person who is contacting me the company name he knows but he uh, do not have any relationship in that case he can add as a requester so the person familiar with the supplier will be added as a requester so the email also will go from the person who has requested this uh, registration with the saying the mail from address and any responses also will be received by that email id that means instead of an actual the person who sends the request uh, who sends the request will be different than the, the person who is on the uh, form that's called a requester this is by default ariba is not providing you need to log a request with uh, ariba then they will be adding this feature in uh, request i will show you where is that then coming to the internal questionnaire so that we were just saying today internal questionnaire is nothing but the questionnaire is responses will be submitted by internal user that means not an external user so the questionnaires are meant for the supplier supplier is not going to fill on behalf of supplier the buyer itself going to enter the details it is possible quite some time suppose one of your supplier uh, he is not willing to enter the responses or we already have the data from him he says that you already have please update yourself or he is in a position he is unable to update the questionnaire then we can use internal questionnaire to update on behalf of the supplier so and you, for example you are having a business with your supplier for last couple of years and it is not fair uh, again asking him some basic details like where you located in that cases uh, the person uh, sourcing uh, supplier agent they will enter on behalf of the supplier and complete the questionnaire part let's see that how we will be doing that one going to the ariba so you can see supplier request one supplier request is available how we are creating create supplier request we can't see that screen i am sharing you thanks okay the supplier request form create supplier request this way so the it says seven potential duplicate based on this information i just had entered one email address that's why it is saying duplicate and if i am entering some data like to supervise don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos see duplicates you can see super tick super with super trend if i feel like and you can see the scoring percentage the first one is 100% song that means it's creating a duplicate either he has used our information similarly super tick is 100 so it just gives based on full match which has happened if we feel that this is the one i need to create and i have found this already existing then i just click a cancel request that means the request is automatically cancelled and no supplier is created in our system if we are not suitable this seems like a, it is not a duplicate then you simply close and for enter all your details click on submit so I'm cancelling it from form. So what is the main criteria? It's an email address, it's checks? Or no, 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 it checks all the fields. So when you're entering supplier request field, even uh, entering the supplier name also, it's such a supplier name I'm entering as a test. You have seen in that uh, duplicate, right? Whatever the items comes as a test, it will appear as a duplicate. It just gives you a suggestion. Now you see 20 potential duplicates based on my test. Now it will list all the names with coming as a test. Test demo, test demo, testing, don't need to testing. All certain fields it selects. Suppose uh, some, if this has no, no, some. It's, it's, but for example, if it's a Honda, just take it as an example of Honda. Okay. So it might be Honda India Limited, Honda Australia Limited, something like that. Okay. So how it will, it, it will come to know that it's. Uh, duplicate so i mean is, is there any no in your regards in your regard so the supplier master it searches the field with the supplier name if it wants to give uh, similar names with the honda 
then it will suggest you we found some similar names with this name do you want to verify it so i just entered honda it's to give me all the details like this yeah. okay so now i know suppose i am going to create for account of this one i know mostly when you are dealing with the suppliers we will have a standard name like honda trading corporation india private limited so then exactly. it is possible when they are entering it will say it's already found with the same name see even they have given clear industrial name and descriptor so if i want to create this one i simply cancel my request and use this account you can select this is the supplier id which is aribas uh, created inside the id and the relevant an id and this is the how it is matching if you are entering all the details it might take you 100 if i am entering like honda trading corporation it will the percentage i just entered only honda that's why it is taking match up 44.58 percentage it's just a percentage of how it is matching relevant match close and click on cancel cancel confirm 